in this video let us solve problems based on construction of histogram of a continuous grouped frequency distribution so here is a question the following table gives the marks scored by 100 students in an entrance examination so mark and the number of students that is the frequency are given here and 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 60 to 70 and 70 to 80 that's says that 0 is the least and 80 is the max marks and the number of students being 4 for 0 to 10 10 for 10 to 20 and so on now we need to represent this data in the form of a histogram and rem and this data is of a continuous grouped frequency distribution the main thing in this is that the class intervals are equal and it is a continuous grouped frequency distribution now the first step as we discussed in the previous video uh, let us take well you take a graph paper and draw two perpendicular lines one horizontal and one vertical intersecting at o make them as ox and oy while i do this so here we have done the first four steps that is take a graph paper and draw two perpendicular lines so i've drawn two perpendicular lines here well, one is the y axis and one is the x axis and taking the horizontal line ox as x axis and vertical line oy as y axis so here it is and then choose a suitable scale along x axis and represent the class limit so that is what i've done and choose a suitable scale for y axis and mark frequencies along the y axis so here the least marks is 0 and the max marks is 80 which i've got it and one box being 10 units in this case it's being 10 marks and then the number of students maximum is 22 so i've taken the divisions are say one un one box or one centimeter at four units each that is four students each because most of them appear to be in the multiples of four or maybe half of it so it's not a problem so now since max is 22 students have taken 24 now let's start plotting it 0 to 10 has got four students so here we go got the first bar and then 10 to 20 has got 10 students, that is in between 8 and 12. So here it is. I've got the second one. The third one says 20 to 30 and 16. So here it is. And 30 to 40 has got 22. 22 is in between 20 and 24. So here we go. and we've got 40 to 50 at 20 20 is here the most important thing to notice here is there is no space between the bars as in the bar graph and 50 to 60 is 18 18 is between 16 and 20 so here is 18 and 60 to 70 is 8 so here is 8 and 70 to 80 is 2 half of the first that is 0 to 4 is 2 so here we are so this is the histogram that we needed and the most important thing to note is this is a construction of histogram of a continuous group frequency distribution which is pretty much simple because it's got equal class intervals